Today, I'm going to be providing you guys a list of backlinks that you should be acquiring for your website. Now, this list of links, they are obviously citation websites. So if you're in the local space, if you're trying to rank higher and you are a local business, uh, this will definitely help. Now, what I've been able to do is I've obviously listed the, the name of the directory, the categories that they accept, and also if it is free or paid, and also the URL. And once you have actually acquired that, if you then tick the actual checkbox on the right-hand right side, it will essentially clear off for you. Now, obviously, I've also set up some filters as well. So if you only want to opt in for free, um, actual links you can do and it will definitely show you all the free um, directories as well. There's well over um, 150 in here. There, you've also got the American ones, the UK ones. If you guys do sign up for this sheet as well, make certain to obviously click on file, then make a copy. So you've obviously got a copy for yourself. You can obviously edit as and when you have acquired these links as well. Now, a few things. Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store if you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. Um, these links, they are obviously no follow links, so they're not necessarily passing that much power. However, they are a good set of foundational links that every single website should have. Now, for example, this website here, these guys, they rank number one for Miami um, lawyers or lawyers in Miami. So, for example, um, if we ignore Justia and bestlawyers.com, they are obviously the first result um, after these two directories. Now, commonly asked question that I get is when should you pay for a directory, right? Now, there's no point in paying for a directory because there are a lot of paid and also free slash paid directories in here. When I would necessarily pick a directory to pay for is if they are actually ranking number one um, for that result. So, for example, if I wanted to rank higher for Miami lawyers, um, just here, obviously, they do have a premium version and I would definitely consider um, paying for that. Now, what you can also do as well is copy the URL. So, for example, I've just searched Miami lawyers paste the URL into um, Ahrefs or SEMrush and try to figure out how many um, or how much traffic this page actually gets per month. Now, if it is obviously viable, like 744 traffic, so again, with Ahrefs or with um, some of these tools, these are obviously estimations. This is probably going to get about 1,000 hits per month. I would then work it back words and figure out if it is actually worth it. Now, for example, if Justia is going to be charging me, let's say a thousand dollars a month for a premium listing, it's probably not worth it. Um, however, if they're going to be charging me, let's say $40 a month, I'd, I'd probably be, be a little bit more inclined to actually opt in for that. So that's what I would be looking at. Um, Again, some of these directories, they don't rank for anything. However, we want to just get listed on those directories. Like, for example, if we take a look at foursquare.com or let's say white pages, right? We could sit here for endless hours. And if we were to search like lawyers in 
Detroit, lawyers in Chicago, lawyers in New York. White Pages will definitely not be one of those websites that will be ranking. However, does that mean that I don't want to get listed on there? Definitely. It's, it's a free directory. Um, I definitely want to get listed on that. Let's say, for example, City Search, right? City Search, again, um, they do definitely have a paid version. But if we were to search citysearch.com, they only rank for 1,700 keywords. So again, I'm definitely not going to get, um, I'm definitely not going to pay for a listing on here. I will, however, definitely um, get listed on there because they've got like, for example, if I'm a HVAC company, they have a lot of HVAC related um businesses on there. So I just want to get seen with other businesses that are associated to my brand. Um, also, as a rule of thumb, when you are going through these um, websites, because in some cases they do try to make it a little bit hard to actually um, find the get a listing page. Like for example, if we take a look at um, Easy Local, if this loads up, um, in some cases, it's like free business listing. Um, you just click that and then you just start filling out your information. Um, in other cases, you do need to look a little bit harder. Um, let me see if I can find one and I'll show you guys. So this is a prime example. Um, some of these uh, directory websites, they're also known as uh, aggregator sites as well. So they're not actually the source of where you submit the actual information, right? So for example, allbiz.com, uh, if we click on to help center, then it says, how do I add a business? You click that and then it's actually login slash create a user on cybo.com. So for example, uh, it says there are additional benefits to Cybo.com listings. So once you actually get listed on Cybo.com, which is another directory, you just click on add a business, you actually get listed on multiple directories. Now, that's one example. I'll see if I can find a few others where it's a, just a little bit complicated. So this is another example as well, where for whatever reason, some of these directory websites, they just try to make it as difficult as they possibly can. I don't know, I don't know if it's a certain theme that they use or what, but for example, to Palo, um, if you actually click or if you scroll all the way down and then click, are you a business owner? And then you've obviously got the um, control your online presence uh, and then get the verify basic listing so that's just the free one you've actually got three different uh versions here so you've got the free one you've got the basic listing and you have got the premium listing as well um there are other ones that are just like really simple so for example like approved businesses or approvedbusiness.co.uk this is the a uk one in the uk section down in the tabs you, all you do is you just click list your uh, company and you select which one you want. Um, and for example, you've got six months, you've got 12 months, you've got free here, and then you just start filling out the form. It's In some cases, they take a couple of days to actually get it approved. They might phone you or whatever, just to figure out if you are an actual genuine real business. You can also put in like a forwarding number as well. So for example, if you are... Um, doing this for a rank and rent, you could definitely get a forwarding number and forward the number to your mobile. And, and then once you actually have the rank and rent rented out, you can then um, forward that number to the actual local business. This is another one fairly easy. So like vitals.com, all you do is you just click on list your practice, fill out all of this and you claim your business profile. One thing that I would also do as well <clears throat> Once you have got the actual business listing URL, um, I would then look to actually um, index that page because you want Google to actually crawl that page and realize that you actually do have a link from, let's say, Chamber of Commerce or Hot Frog or House or Thumbtack or wherever. So get work on getting a list of, let's say, 50 of these. Um, and then once you actually have that, then run it through an indexing tool because that's essentially step number two to get Google crawling these URLs and get Google seeing that you actually have got that clout um, about your business and stuff. 
And then for any one of these, obviously they all have got, or most of them have got a, a paid version. Um, what I would be looking to do is, if say for example, uh, you are being asked, um, should you be, get pay, get the paid version or the more premium listing, um, always, always, always um, just do a search for that website on Ahrefs. See if that website actually does get traffic or e even if it ranks for the actual keyword that you are trying to rank for. And that's when I would consider um, actually getting a, a premium version of that. So like, for example, if say for um for instance, I wanted to rank for lawyers in New York, I would look to see which of the directories are actually um, getting some traffic. So for example, Justia, um, they've got a double listing, um, America's top 50 lawyers, bestlawyers.com. Is this a directory? Um, no, that's actually a law firm. Um, so bestlawyers.com, I would consider actually getting a, a premium listing on here. America's top 50 lawyers, I again would consider getting a premium listing. Um, same goes with justia.com. Um, obviously, you can definitely take a look at these pages um, at URL level and see how much r traffic. So that, for example, this is getting 3,800 hits roughly per month. So this might actually be closer to like 4,000 hits per month. So again, if say for example, Justia is charging me $12,000 a month for that, I would probably say no. However, if it's like a 600 to $1,200 listing, I definitely would say yes to that because I would probably get a lot of inbound inquiries from that page. So that's the only time that I would ever look to get a paid listing. Um, the other case is if it's fairly cheap and my competitors all have a listing, if it's like, let's say a one-off um, that they're trying to charge me, again, I would I would look to get um, some of those. But a really good start for all of this is getting all the free ones. Like for example, Yelp, that's a free one. Uh, Yellow Pages, again, that's free. BBB or Be Better Business Bureau, that's paid. Um, Angie.com, that's a free, ver um, they've got a free and the paid version. So start off by getting a lot of the paid versions, or sorry, start off by getting a lot of the free versions and then get them indexed, run them all through an indexing tool. And that's when I would then consider getting all of the more higher end paid versions um, of these. So that's been my video on the free backlinks. I hope you guys have found this video useful. Um, as always, the link for this is down below. Just make certain to click on file, make a copy, and you can start working off all of these. What I will also try to do is keep this list up to date. So I'm looking at um, websites and analyzing a lot of links every single day. If I do find any more um, good directories that should be on this list, I will definitely add them on. Um, and as always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. And if you guys want a free growth strategy call with myself, make sure to check the link down below, fill in the form. The link is casualdash.com. Thanks.